Hey everyone, I wanted to make a video and share with you the Mav Mount, which I believe to be far and away the best tablet adapter mount for the DJI Mavic drone. Um, I think this finally allows prosumer use of this very capable drone. Now I got lots of common questions at the ID uh, International Drone Show this last weekend in LA, and we get them on our website at mavmount.com as well, and I figured a video is the best way to answer questions for everyone. So what is the Mav Mount? Uh, the Mav Mount is a complete Mavic drone tablet adapter system that doesn't require you to buy or cannibalize from another controller any part to work. It's absolutely complete. Uh, the base plate is a CNC 601 billet aluminum fully anodized black or red platform designed of SolidWorks to mount to your Mavic controller solidly and securely. I've got a countersunk bolt right here, some channels for your cords. Um, as you can see, this is uh, a real solid, heavy-duty ball mount here, and a uh, clamp. From that, you can see our spring-loaded, extremely strong clamp here that fits any tablet between 112 and 142 millimeters, which includes the iPad Mini, the NVIDIA Shield, and larger phones as well. Uh, we also have an XL Mav mount for the iPad Air that works, uh, that I just don't have sitting here. Um, so let me show you how to use the Mav mount with these two tablets. Um, I got these for my Inspire One setups. So uh, this solution does not work for me. Uh, the problem here is the cell phone is below the controller. Uh, that's like having your dashboard below your steering wheel. It does not work. Uh, every time I put this on, the button, the uh, clamp here pushes the button on the uh, phone. Um, that's I'm never going to use this. So let me show you how to use the Mav mount with these two tablets I have here for my Inspire setups. Alright, so I'm going to take the wire that I use, run it through the channel that I have here. Now DJI has given us that nice, that nice plug there, so that works out perfect. Now as you can see there's some indentions here, they make it so it fits perfectly into the Mavic controller, and there you have a very steady very secure setup. Now this little uh, aluminum outcrop here is to make it so the weight is just perfect in your hands. Uh, when, you're, when you're flying, uh, there's a few things that uh, you can build into a controller, it's just going to make it nicer. One, a lot of guys like to fly like this. They want to hold the sticks like this, so they're going to be setting it down on a table and using the sticks like this. I personally fly thumbs, so I'm going to be flying like this. Now, to set it up, you take the tablet, go right in here, place it in. Very sturdy. I can't get it to come out. Just can't do it. Alright, so let's plug it in. There we go. You'd be fully connected. Obviously I have the website up there. But you can see you have nice room for your thumbs to come in here. Uh, the channel here allows you to run the wire any way that you want. You can slide it up, you can go to the other side if that's the way you like your setup. Alright, and the, uh, the really important part about this setup is that you're able to use the Hoodman setup. Now this is the Hoodman to have one. And what this allows you to do is block out all of the light. I've had this set up on my uh, Inspire on many shoots and it's really the only way you can get correct exposure. You're going to be able to see the light. The way I set it up is I just push this down into here. Alright, strap this on. With this strap you can go around the, uh, the tablet adapter if you want and it'll hold it there. I just kind of um, just do it like this because honestly I've never had a problem with it coming out of the clamp. Um, but you know Hoodman puts that on there for extra security and yeah, maybe you want to use that. So now, now you're seeing the screen nicely. And with the full hood setup, you put on top of here, 
It blocks out all the light. When your face is brought up to it, no light comes in from the side. And there you go, that's the full have one setup. And you've got your screen all the way down in there. No possible light comes through. Easy access to the, to the uh, screen there. And this is how I use it on a professional setup. I will always be flying with one of these. Um, check it out. One thing, that's, one thing that's really important here is that this is sitting by itself. You don't see a finger coming in, holding it, keeping it from falling forward. It is, it's unacceptable to me that it would be so out of whack that it would fall forward like this. But you see some of the solutions. Um, they, they put the tablet way too high on the uh, controller and it just uh, just falls forward. Uh, the reason being, and I, the only reason I can guess, is some people think you need to see this screen here. And the only reason I can think that they actually made this screen is some people would actually fly the Mavic like this. And if you're uh, doing some sort of uh, just screwing around and uh, fully line of sight, maybe this is fun. Uh, if you're just uh, flying the controller, obviously you're not using a, a camera feed. And <clears throat> so I'm going to have fun with that. Um, obviously, every single thing that's on this screen here, you're going to see on a, on a tablet or even the cell phone. Uh, it's completely redundant. So anybody that's serious about flying is going to want at least a cell phone, but having a full tablet on here, and let's just install this again real quick, push that in there, clamp it on, plug it in. Now you've got every single thing that that screen back there, but you have it on a real professional monitor here. And uh, I think that's really important. So why make the Mad Mount? Well, I've been flying Inspire once for years now in motion pictures, commercials, and I've grown accustomed to a professional setup of a larger tablet and additionally a Hoodman light blocking solution. The very first time I flew the Mavic, I could tell what it was missing in order to be used professionally. I actually pulled it out for a Def Jam record shoot for rapper YG to do a location scouting in the desert. And I don't want to burn a battery out there. Uh, but the image was washed out by light and way too small. So I wanted a professional solution for the Mavic. And over time, this is what I decided I wanted. Um, and through a lot of revisions, actually. Uh, so it needed to be professional grade and made from durable materials. Uh, it needed to be weighted correctly so it sits in the hand uh, when I use it. And it's well balanced like the Inspire controller. Um, you guys know this controller, right? Pretty iconic. Um, when you hold it, it feels like a professional controller. It is weighted easily in here. It's nice. Um, they've got most of the weight here, so it sits nice in your palm, and then when the tablet's up here, it's not trying to fall out of your hands. Uh, you may not realize how nice this is until you <laughs> hold a Mavic controller, and um, honestly, I know it's made to be lightweight, but it feels a little cheap. And uh, if you put a plastic plate here, um, it wants to fall out of your hands, so it's just no good. Uh, so, I, you know, I've got this washed out image, it's uh, way too small on a cell phone, and uh, it was the first day I had a Mavic, uh, so I just didn't know yet. Um, but I immediately wanted a professional solution. And over time, this is what I decided I wanted. It needed to be prof professional, durable, grade materials. Um, it needed to be weighted so it sits in the hand while using it. It's balanced like the Inspire controller. Um, the balance should be perfect, so it doesn't want to fall forward in your hands while flying. Um, you know, it wants to sit in your, in your palm, and uh, it should be able to sit down, and you should be able to set it down without worrying or trying to set it like this or whatever, uh, you know, some of these other uh, plates are doing. Uh, so, yeah, I just didn't want to use plastic. That was actually my first, the first thing I tried was uh, from wood. I made it from wood in my garage. Uh, then I tried a plastic solution. I realized that wasn't going to work. Um, it wasn't uh, heavy. It wasn't durable. And honestly, I wanted it to look absolutely professional. Um, and just, you know, as nice as all of my other camera equipment. 
Uh, I didn't want to cannibalize a Phantom or Inspire clamp. I'd seen some things that were 3D printed and uh, it just, I, I don't want to kill another uh, controller uh, to make this one kind of work. And uh, I need to be strong, able to handle impact, uh, with looks compatible with how nice the Mavic is designed. Um, you can see here, I bevel the edges like the Mavic controller. We do this in SolidWorks. And uh, I feel like it's, you know, really compatible with how nicely this controller is designed. I mean, they took a, they took a lot of time, obviously, in SolidWorks or whatever they were using to make this look real nice. And I wasn't going to put something in here that wasn't uh, perfectly compatible with it. And honestly, I'm going to be giving away a few of these for, uh, for gifts. I think they're going out for Christmas to my friends that have Mavics. And I can't give them something that doesn't look nice. So I went with red here. I've actually made a aluminum version as well. Uh, you can see the logo there, kind of shining. Um, I'll show you some pictures as well. I'll throw them up in the video. But uh, this one's real nice if you want it to kind of disappear into the controller. You're not looking for uh, maybe the little, maybe the red's a little flashy, and you want to go with a uh, more low key. I've also made it in black anodized. Alright, well um, that's uh, that's my map mount. Um, you can get it at mapmount.com. Uh, I throw up an Etsy site as well, but you can buy direct on mapmount.com. And uh, I'm going to be getting these out to some guys and uh, get some reviews back. Uh, as a pro flyer, you know, I'm just, I really, uh, if I'm going to use a drone that's you know not as capable as the Inspire One, but still really nice. Uh, I, I just can't skimp on uh, on getting this up to speed, you know. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I hope you uh, hope you find this to be real useful for capturing uh, beautiful views that you guys find on vacation or uh, doing some work, uh, doing some aerial cinematography. We're just shooting your kids, you know. Have a good time. All right. Thanks.